hello lovelies welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and you are watching faith vibes so on today's menu we'll be making something light easy yet tasty so before we proceed let's do some butcher's job <laughs> I brought out this turkey last night from the freezer to liquefy so those are some of the ice that I came out from it. I am not a pro in cutting barrels but let's see what I can do because obviously this turkey is way bigger than my two hands so stay glued, stay tuned, stay connected and let's get into it. <laughs> lovelies at this point i'm done cutting the turkey you can cut the turkey or any protein you are using according to your desired sizes but bear in mind after cooking frying or grilling it shrinks in size that is if you are doing any of those so i chose to cut mine in a bigger chunk so that when you eat a piece or more you'll be happy you do so i'm going to transfer them inside the bowl add some lemon juice concentrate just to wash away that turkey smell so you can also use white vinegar um, you can also use salt to wash the turkey as well. So while that is done, over here I'm just going to rinse or wash some of the ingredients or spices that I'll be using for this recipe. And I've got in here three bulbs of onions, rosemary, garlic and then some ginger. I'm going to introduce this all-purpose seasoning inside the meat. When I'm done sprinkling it, I'm going to add two bay leaves, which I've already gone ahead to rinse off camera as well. I'm going to introduce in garlic powder, bouillon powder, fresh rosemary, onions, and the grated ginger. I'm going to add some water. I will add the water just below the meat because turkey releases a lot of juice or stock. I will not be adding a salt because most of those spices contain the sodium. I'm using pressure pot. That is why I'm even adding water at this point. So if you're using normal pot, you can just cook the meat or turkey on a low heat before adding extra water to continue the cooking process. And please feel free to adjust all the ingredients or spices you use for this recipe. So when I'm done, adding all the ingredients or spices i'm going to give it a nice uh, cover and allow to cook until the turkey is very very soft and please the detailed ingredient for this recipe can be found on my description box below So my pressure pot was set at 18 minutes so if you are using a normal pot you can cook longer maybe 25 to 30 minutes so this is the merit of having a pressure pot so i'm just going to give it a nice stir oh my god it smells so incredibly amazing so when i'm done stirring it i'm just going to take the turkey out from the stock place it on a sieve just to drain out excess stock so at this point if you want to fry or grill bake you can just do any of those but i don't feel like grilling frying or baking it as well so when i'm done i'm going to set it aside so at this point i'm done taking out the turkey out from the broth i'm just going to sieve the stock i'm going to take out the two bay leaves that we use in cooking the turkey this turkey stock tastes so good. You can use it for your jollof rice, your soup, or literally any recipe that you want to use it for. So when I'm done, I'm just going to set the turkey broth aside. And I've got in here some fresh Valentine tomatoes. <laughs> 
By the way, Valentine is around the corner. What are you making for your loved ones after exchanging gifts, cards, hugs, and kisses? Like you need to try out this recipe to seal the love. I am super excited that Valentine is here again. Like I love love. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just adding some of the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes inside my blender and I'll be blending them in batches because my blender cannot blend them all at once. So this is the first batch. I'm just going to transfer it inside my pot. So basically, I use the tomato sauce to enhance the blending process of the fresh tomatoes which I introduced earlier on. I went ahead and cut the fresh tomatoes into bigger chunk just to help the blending process. So I'll be repeating the process until I am done blending all the tomatoes I have at hand. So this is the last batch of the tomato which I'm going to add um should I say the fiber or the spices I use in cooking the turkey which we sieved earlier on. I'll be blending it alongside with the tomatoes. Remember those are tasty spices. You don't need to throw them away. Nothing goes to a waste. I only went ahead and removed some of the turkey pieces out from the fiber or from the spices. Let me know in the comment section, do you normally throw away the fiber or the spices you sieve out from your stock? Let me know what you normally do with them. So at this point, I'm going to start by adding some of the remaining ingredients, which is my fresh rosemary, onions, extra virgin olive oil. When I'm done adding it, I'm going to give it a nice stir. I will add some bouillon powder, mix it once again. I will cover and place it on my stove and I will fry it on a medium heat for 20 minutes or until the oil is clear. And please ensure you stir frequently to avoid getting burnt or avoid getting sticky to your pot. lovelies this is like 25 minutes later remember i said you can fry for 20 minutes or until your oil turns clear i left it on the stove top and i was attending to some necessities i'm just going to give it a nice stir like there's no single bond nothing gladdens the heart after cooking your stew it doesn't come out smelling burnt like it gladdens the heart so i went ahead and added extra onions for the onions lover if you're not a fan of onions please you don't need to add any onions again so i'm going to introduce the turkey like i earlier said i'm not frying baking or grilling this time around but you can feel free to do in your feet so when i'm done adding all the turkey i'm going to give it a gentle stir test to adjust seasoning so i needed to add extra bouillon powder i went ahead and sprinkled just a little bit of it i added the garlic powder as well you won't believe I did not add salt in this stew. Like, you won't even believe it because almost all the spices you use contain uh, sodium. But if you think you need salt, please feel free to add some. But don't be too excited when you are adding the salt before your stew will become too salty. So when I'm done, I'm going to give it the last stir. I will cover and allow to cook or boil on a medium heat. And there you have it. Like, this turkey stew tasted so good. When my hobby came to the kitchen, I gave him to test. He was like, wow, this is delicious. I hope your YouTube family will not finish it before it will reach my hand. <laughs> that is my funny hobby for you. So that is it. And here you have your stew. Like it tasted super incredibly amazing. lovelies three minutes later our one pot non-fried turkey stew is as good as ready now that you know how to make the perfect non-fried turkey stew i hope you give it a try and let me know what you think about it you can pair this stew with your white yam your white boiled rice pasta or even plain okra if you like this video please do the needful by giving it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like what you see Thank you all so much for watching. Happy Valentine. Keep staying safe. Positive vibes only. I will catch you all on my next video. Enjoy.